Hey, 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 it's Kent Claudia. Welcome to today's podcast. Glad you guys made it. Excited to have you here. I want to talk about the infamous dun, 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 lack of money issue, right? I cannot ha- tell you how many times I've had people that want to get involved uh, in education or training or software or marketing, or they're trying to go off and build a business and they come at me and they're like, Kent, how do I do any of this stuff and I just don't have any money? And so I thought I would just spend a few minutes here and talking about it because I think that's, there's so many people that get trapped by this and it ends up killing their dreams. Um, here's the bottom line. I can tell you that at some point, every entrepreneur has been faced with that reality. Every entrepreneur that I know that's worth their weight in, in, in anything has actually been faced with that uh, question, oh my God, I'm running out of money, or I don't have any money, or how can I pay for this, or how am I going to make payroll, or how am I going to pay for this marketing, or how am I going to get this campaign out the door? I mean, quite frankly, if, if you're not faced with that issue from time to time, then you're not trying hard enough. So the very first thing I would tell you is get used to it. You got to get comfortable being uncomfortable. That's part of being an entrepreneur. That's part of pushing your boundaries. If if you if your boundaries are all in this one area and you just you never kind of push through them, then you're always going to be trapped where you right where you are. So you got to get comfortable pushing through those boundaries and getting into that unknown area right there, and it being a little uncomfortable and a little scary. So how do you deal with the actual? Oh my God, I really don't have the money right now, Kent. Well, it really comes down to one comment and one philosophy. And I would tell you that if you just get to this side of thinking as fast as you can, then it will virtually solve this problem every time for you. And that is, it is never a lack of money or lack of of resources. It is always a lack of resourcefulness. I'll say it again. It is never a lack of resources. It is always a lack of resourcefulness. If you're listening to my voice, I want you to, now if you're driving, don't do this obviously, but if you can, I want you to close your eyes for a second. And I want you to imagine that you and I are hanging out and we're sitting in, you know, we're, we're sitting in a, uh, we're hanging out in a hotel. We're right, right at the very front where the valet is. There's nobody around, there's a valet right there. And I tell you, I got a surprise for you. And Elisa, I got a surprise for you right now. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, here we go. You and I are standing there and up pulls a Ferrari F450. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful car. A very expensive supercar. $450,000 car. And it pulls up, parked right in front of us. And I tell you, I'm gonna sell you that car right now, Elisa. And I tell you, it's $450,000. And the very first thing you do to me is you're like, exactly what you just did, right? Which was, <laughs> you must be kidding, right? I don't have $450,000. But then I tell you, I'm going to sell you to the car right now for $10,000. $10,000, you've got 24 hours to go find me the 10 grand. You bring me the $10,000 and put it in my hand in the next 24 hours. I'm going to sell you this $450,000 car for $10,000. What are you going to do? Go get it. Go get it, right? (laughs) Go get it. I'll find it. And virtually everybody that's listening to me right now would do the exact same thing. I will do whatever it takes to go find that $10,000. Now, why is that? It's because you clearly understand that the benefit is that if I can get $10,000, I'm going to go make $440,000 $440,000 inside of the next seven days. Cause I'm going to turn around and sell that bitch as fast as I can. Right? I don't need the car. I want the money. You're still, you're staring a 440 grand payday in the face. And the only thing that keeps you from making $440,000 in not is $10,000. Could you get it at least? Yeah. Okay. And basically just so everybody else could too. And if you can't, then you're not thinking hard enough. You're not being resourceful enough. Think harder. Where could you get it? Because everything you need to know about yourself is in the answer to that question. It is not a lack of resources. It's a lack of resourcefulness. Everybody that's listening to me right now could go find that 10 grand. Now, if I also told you, hey, 
I'm going to show you how to go build a business, but you're going to have to give me $10,000 to do it. I'm going to show you how to live the perfect life, but you're going to have to give me $10,000 to do it. Nowhere near as sexy, is it? Nowhere near as tangible, is it? I can put a $450,000 car in front of you and it's very tangible. You can see it. But I've tried to help you understand that I'm going to show you how to build a business. I'm going to show you how to build a business that can give you $450,000 every year plus. Or I'm going to show you how to have an amazing life that can provide a lifetime of uh, enjoyment, of, of you know, these ama a collection of moments, if you will, over and over and over, that it, these unbelievable and enriching experiences over and over. You'd be shocked how many people can't find the $10,000 for that. Why? Because it's not as tangible. They don't believe in, them, in themselves as much as they believe in a fucking car. And that's the bottom line. So how do you solve the, I don't have the money issue? You get your head in the game. You get focused on the right things. You become resourceful. You figure out what your life is really worth to you. You figure out what your dreams are really worth. You figure out how committed you are to this process. If I put the money in, how hard would I fight for the dream? How hard would I go after it? If I bought that Subway franchise, how hard would I work it? If I put the money in, into this business, how hard would I go after this? If I, if I opened the sandwich shop or the copy shop or the nail salon or whatever it is, whatever that thing is, if I go off and build that spec house, how hard am I going to work my ass off to make sure that that happens? Because that's the question first. And when you understand what your commitment is to it first, then you'll be shocked at how resourceful you will get to go find and create that opportunity. Hey, it's Kent here. And first, I just want to say thank you for watching the video. And then I also want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel and check out a couple of the videos I've got right here for you as well. Take care.